Okay. For the thermal property of matter, question two, copper. It says determine the amount of temperature or heat needed for each object to increase the length by five centimeters. Well, so it gives you that copper is five meters in length, and you need to know what copper is, how much, you know, which is 16.6 times 10, carry it to the negative six. This answer, you're and then you would have to count into account the length by five centimeters, which is increasing. So you would take this divided by 0 0.05, which would give you let's see, times ten to the negative. Divided by point zero five divided by divided by which would equal three twelve point zero four eight. But you're still not done. You have to tint to count also five meters in the five meters from here which you would divide into that. Equals 602.409 is your answer. Okay. Now for concrete, it's a hundred meters in length, a hundred meters in length, you would take then what concrete is, which is fourteen point five times ten to the negative six which equals fourteen point five times ten to the negative six which would equal one point four five e to the negative five which you have to take an account point Zero five divided by your one point four five e to the negative five. Which would equal three hundred three thousand four hundred and forty eight point two seven. You take that and 448.27 and divide it by the 100 meters which would equal 0.27 divided by 100 Hold on. One four point five times ten to the negative six. Then you take point zero five divided by insert that. Then you take insert divided by one hundred, which equals thirty four point four eight. Now for 
question four, the plate of glass is 50 meters in length. meters in length. Okay. You gotta take point zero five times nine point ten to negative six. that times which would equal six hundred and six point six four six plate of glass. And for the last one iron is 30 meters in length okay so then you want to take iron is 12 point Twelve times ten to the negative six divided by a zero point five divided by five thirty. Sorry. I need to get you. So twelve times ten to negative six. divided by point zero five divided by then you take the answer divided by thirty which equals hundred and thirty eight point eight eight nine which is your answer